Hello everyone, back tuning into the third and final seasonal model roundup for the summer of 2017 from com. So over the past three months we've been looking at the long range seasonal models, we've also been looking at analogues as we build up towards the summer season and we're almost there now, tomorrow Gazovitz will be issuing the summer 2017 forecast, we'll be combining the long range models with the analogues, we've got more interesting analogues to come tomorrow uh, we'll be combining it and putting it all together and then we will be issuing the Gasworth its summer forecast so going to be quite an important update this it, it will play quite an important role within the uh, summer forecast that we release tomorrow we've got 11 long range models to get through so it can be quite a long video you can't watch it all in one go don't worry it will be kept on the uh, summer updates of forecast page indefinitely so you'll be able to come back and watch it whenever you want uh, there'll also be a written post when it's added to the summer uh, forecast later today there'll be a written uh, update that goes with the video um you can't watch the video all in one go you can read written report instead uh, so just say that we've already done weekend forecast, by the way. It's going to be an interesting week's weather coming up. You can find me out to that here on the homepage. Just scroll down the page a little bit. It's underneath the link ads. Uh, and also, there is the written version. You can get to that via the buttons at the top of the page. And, of course, we've got thunderstorms knocking about today. So uh, we may update Stormwatch later on. just depends how things develop. Right, I think we'd better uh, get on with the uh, third and final seasonal model roundup. Then. I'm going to start off with the long-range uh, Russian model. This is temperature probability that we're looking at just here. So the Russian model is indicating above average probability of above average uh, temperatures this summer. It's going generally for quite a warm summer in the northwestern part of Europe. For precipitation, that is showing wetter than average out to our west, near normal elsewhere. With this area looking wetter than average, the probability is coming out for a wet and average summer anyway, just to our west. That does imply that there might be uh, low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic, so maybe a little bit more of an unsettled summer than you might have thought looking at the temperatures. Uh, this is the long-range APEC model. This is a collaboration of MET agencies. I think the uh, Australian Bureau of Meteorology and maybe the JMA is involved with it. But uh, involved with this. But the main, um, the main MET agency that uh, is associated with this model is actually the South Korean uh, MET agency. So essentially, it is a Korean model. These are 500 mm height anomalies that we're starting off with. First of all, this is for the summer, June to August. And by the way, all the charts that you see in this this uh, final update will cover the full summer, summer period. There's going to be no messing about with um, coming out a month short. Uh, all the models for this one are covering the summer period. So uh, APEC is showing, again, maybe it's seeming at a slightly lower than average heights or lower heights out to the west. Otherwise, the heights look like they're coming out near Norway. I don't think you can get too much information from that so let's have a look at the uh, temperature probability and that is coming out above average or warmer than average summer being seen by APEC and also in terms of precipitation I think overall it is average to maybe ever so slightly above average. Now the second uh, summer update is quite interesting because there was a very clear signal with the second update that we did last month um, from the long range models to uh, have a warmer than average summer but the precipitation side of things was very uncertain. Just from the first two of these ones, it looks like we might be shifting a little bit onto the wetter side for this summer, but still with generally warm temperatures. Now we've got the JMA uh, next, and uh, well, this month I haven't actually broken the Japanese model down uh, and shown uh, you the charts in isolation uh, for the next three months. I haven't had time to do that. I can tell you, though, that uh, the, uh, on, on a month individual monthly basis, the JMA is looking quite 
uh, complicated. Uh, it starts off with a fairly wettish June and then it turns drier through uh, July and August. It's also going for warm and average temperatures throughout all three uh, summer months. In terms of a free monthly 500 millibar height anomaly from the JMA for this summer, we see we've got an area of above average heights out to our West British are just here. Top right hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it, of course. Precipitation anomalies for uh, the summer are coming out. More or less dry than average in most places, but it does look a little bit wetter, interestingly, to the south. Notice many parts of Europe coming out a little bit wetter than average. Well, it does have a wet June, the JMA, and uh, then it turns drier later on. The temperature anomalies for this summer with the JMA, they're coming out uh, generally on the warmer than average side. Uh, the mean wind direction is quite interesting because it looks like it's easterly, seeing easterly winds uh, coming in this summer more often than uh, not. You can see that from the black arrows. That's quite interesting because easterly winds in summer... Early on, they can be quite cool, but if you get easy winds in July and August, they can actually be very hot. So, a little bit in between, in between really, from uh, the JMA. I don't think the scene will, I say, I have broken this down into monthly periods myself. I haven't had time to show it to you. I don't think the signals are all that consistent from uh, the JMA. But let's say it is on the warmer than average side with temperatures and precipitation. It starts off fairly wet and then gets drier later. Uh, this is the Brazilian model. We'll go to the Americas next. This is 500 bit of our height anomaly for the summer from the Brazilian model. It looks like it's placing a trough out to the west of us. So that's a little bit of a pattern emerging here so far from the models that we've used. Maybe some lower pressure out to our west, although the JMA doesn't uh, really show that. Um, this one, by the way, always does things a little bit different. So where you've got those blue colours, that is actually above average heights, high pressure. Where you've got the brighter colours, that's below average heights, low pressure. So, yeah, it is placing an area of low pressure out to our west. It has this uh, ridging over Scandinavia and out to the northwest as well. I think that could be quite an unsettled summer pattern, actually. It doesn't really look all that dramatic. I think that could be quite an unsettled summer. Let's move on and have a look at the temperature anomalies. And they're coming out warmer than average, a milder, warmer than average summer being anticipated by the Brazilian model. And also coming out wetter than average as well. Quite interestingly, above average rainfall being seen by the uh, Brazilian model for this summer. So uh, mild but wet sums it up from Brazil. Moving on to Kansas, it's going north to Canada. And these are the mean sea, sea level pressure anomalies from the Kansas uh, model. Always hard to interpret these, but essentially we have to look at where the colours are. So again, it looks like it's placing some sort of trough there with that blue area just to our west, albeit it's a relatively uh, weak one. Temperature anomalies, they're coming out warmer than average. This is a very clear and consistent signal again across the models for quite a warm summer coming up. Precipitation, again it's average precipitation but notice we've got this area of above average rainfall out to our west. So a lot of the models seem to be placing some sort of trough in the Atlantic out to west, but potentially doing something a bit like that, I think. So it is possible, probably quite unsettled. There might be a fair amount of thunder in there, but it's also warm. A lot of southerly winds, so that explains why the temperatures are always coming out warm and average, but with a relatively unsettled type uh, pattern. Patel Peng uh, next. Rep Patel Peng has replaced Hoog van den Doel, of course, as the uh, long range forecasting guru at uh, NOAA. So, just as what Hoog was doing, these are analog. Uh, forecast based on sea surface temperature anomalies. So Patel got the sea surface temperature anomalies together in April, had a look at them, and then looked back at past Aprils with a similar uh, sea surface temperature profile, and then created an analogue-based forecast going forward. This is 200 millibar uh, heights, and it's placing a ridge down to our southwest, but over the UK, and actually to the east of the UK, looks like we might have a weaker 
area of pressure. Maybe uh, a little bit of a trough there within the 200 millibar flow. So again, what looks on the surface like it might be quite a settled summer could actually be a slightly more unsettled signal perhaps. Again, we see temperature anomalies from Patel Pen coming out warmer than average for this summer. Uh, precipitation, let's just check this. So precipitation is also with this one coming out uh, average to drive an average. Notice over two hour east, it looks a little bit more unsettled there. But for us, a warm and fairly dry summer being signalled by Patel Peng. Uh, the experimental NASA model is next. Uh, 500 millibar heights, placing an area of above average heights over and to the east of the UK. It looks like there's a trough in the Atlantic. That's quite a way away from us. Jet is doing something like that. You expect that to be quite a warm uh, summer pattern. And indeed, the model is going warmer than average for this summer. Uh, temperature anomalies coming out significantly above average uh, there. In terms of precipitation, that is looking uh, generally around average. No particular signal for precipitation. Uh, central parts of Europe are coming out drier than average, however. We're cracking through them now. We go on to CFS D2, our last uh, model for the Americas. This is a 700 millibar height anomaly for uh, the summer from the CFS V2. And I just want to want you to uh, feast your eyes on this because there's the equator uh, just there. So all of this area above it going up here is the Northern Hemisphere summer. And according to the CFS V2, there's not going to be any areas of above or below average uh, heights or pressure this summer. So uh, looking at that, well, it does look very bizarre and you really couldn't make a forecast at all based on that absolutely no help whatsoever from the cfs v2 but let's see if we can drill down a little bit and have a look at the temperature anomalies it's going for a warmer than average summer surprise surprise it's very clear signal across all of these models warmer than average temperature anomalies for this summer and for precipitation um, bit of a mixed bag. Scotland coming out a bit wetter. Much of France, northern Spain coming out wetter. And then we get a uh, sort of a drier zone. A bit of a Goldilocks zone, if you like, there across southern parts of England. Again, quite weak signals, you have to say. Uh, I can tell you that looking at it, at it by a month-by-month -month basis, CFS V2 has quite a warm and dry uh, sort of early and middle part to the summer. But it does turn significantly wetter in uh, August, uh, so that could be why the uh, precipitation anomaly there looks fairly weak. But it is a very, very weak signal uh, from the CFS V2. The only thing you can really say about it is that temperatures are seen to be above average. Uh, next, we go through to China. This is the Beijing Climate Centre model, 500 millibar height anomaly for the summer from the BCC. British Isles is just here in the uh, right hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it. It's placing a big area of, ab of above average heights very much over the UK. So, this is looking really good uh, for the summer. Temperature anomalies with that ridge are coming out very significantly warmer than average. And for precipitation, well, actually, we're on the drier side. So this is a really nice summer uh, being predicted by the Beijing Climate Centre. Most parts of Central Europe are also coming out um, drier than average. So really good uh, summer from the Beijing Climate Centre. High pressure dominating, warm and dry uh, conditions. Jamstech IOD next. This is the temperature anomaly from Jamstech. That's coming out warmer than average across the whole of Europe. But the British Isles is included in that too. Precipitation, this is very much along the lines of the uh, Beijing Climate Centre actually, precipitation is coming out drier than average. So those two models going for a really good summer, both of them significantly warmer than average, also drier than average as well. And then finally, we come to our very own Glow C5 uh, model from the UK Met Office. This is mean sea level pressure. And uh, look at this. Very good. Uh, again, we've got above average pressure being signalled here over and to the east of the country, which you would assume is bringing in quite a lot of easterly winds, which, as I say, later in the summer, that could be very hot. And it's also likely 
to be quite dry. Temperature anomalies are coming out very significantly warm on average. There hasn't been a single model in this update that has been colder than average or cooler than average for this summer. All 11 are going for above average temperatures. So that obviously is a very strong signal from the model output. For uh, rainfall precipitation, Overall, we're on the dry of an average side. It is a little bit wetter out to the north and the west, but I think pretty much uh, we're coming out drier than average with the UK Met Office model uh, for this summer. So that's it. That's the 11, and they're a little bit of a mixed bag. Uh, I think what we can take, of, take from this is that it is a very, very strong signal across all 11 models for temperatures to be above average this summer. So that obviously is a very strong signal indeed. In terms of the overall pattern, however, and in terms of rainfall, that is a little bit more of a mixed bag. And uh, I think maybe this update, if anything, might have shifted a little bit more onto the unsettled side, actually, despite the final three uh, being really quite um, dry. So overall, it perhaps shifted a little bit onto the more unsettled side for this summer. But it is a split, and the better range of models are probably, which is the Jamstech, it's the Beige Climate Centre, it's UK Met Office, uh, the better range of models probably still on the drier side. For the uh, for the actual pattern for this summer, that really is a mixed bag. Uh, a lot of these models are trying to place a trough out to the west, which presumably combines with a ridge to the east and pulls up very warm southerly winds, which explains the temperatures, but could also be unsettled, possibly thundery at times. Right, so that's it for the long range models. We've had, uh, they've had their say on this summer. We've got one last lot of analogues to look at tomorrow from our good friend James Aquil. And then at the end of that uh, update, we will issue the summer forecast. So we'll combine the analogues with the models. We'll come to a conclusion for what we think at Gasworth is going to happen this uh, summer. So come back tomorrow for the gasworthies.com summer 2017 forecast. Be a very interesting day. When that's out of the way tomorrow, by the way, we'll have a little sneak peek uh, at the autumn because the bandwagon, after summer forecast is released, the bandwagon always rolls on to the next season and that season will be autumn. Of course, I'll have a little sneak peek at that tomorrow. Don't forget to check out Weekend Forecast if you haven't yet done so. This video will be placed on the summer 2017 updates and forecast page with a written report just explaining everything that we discussed in the video that'll be coming up later on today uh, and uh, thanks very much for watching that's all for now thanks for watching